Hello and welcome to ZAPR.com. We are ready with a new course which will be a boon to all web developers who are struggling to build apps. Yes, this course name is Rapid App Development using SAP App Giver at Mendix and it will make the life of all web developers little better. Trust us, it needs special skills to become front-end developer and if you have been a back-end web developer your whole life, it is not easy to switch to SAP UI 5 and Fury app development. But SAP wants web developers to build apps and to assist our ABAP community. SAP has introduced App Giver and Mendix to help develop apps in SAP rapidly. So, if you are one of those ABAP developers who is itching to explore the app world, then this is the course you should enroll in. If we want to learn rapid app development, then we need to have some background of low code, no code application development concepts. In this course, we will introduce our participants to the application development structure and design. We will try to understand what the user interface allows the users to see and do. Why should we learn and use Mendix and App Giver? And we will also do the step-by-step -step setup of App Giver. Once we have the App Giver setup done, we will learn and explore the architecture of App Kyver. We will make our hands dirty in this innovative tool, which is a lifesaver for many developers. We will create our first app using App Kyver and design a UI and implement the business logic. This class would be the foundation for the coming exercises and classes in this course. So do not miss it. If you are building apps for SAP, you need to connect to SAP using SAP OData service. In this course, we will learn how to connect to SAP using OData service and also to connect SAP backend system using third party API. This will be a very practical topic which all front-end developers have to work day in, day out. Participants surely should not miss this session. While we work in real projects, we normally do not build static one-page apps. In real business use cases, there will be many moving parts in the applications we build. In this session, we will learn how to apply page navigation functionality in SAP app, which we build using SAP App Giver tool. We will also explore the plugin integration. Just learning to build the app is not enough. We also need to learn how to publish it and use it. In this training, we will learn about the setup to run App Kyver based app as mobile app and also cover the setup to run App Kyver based apps on desktop apps. Next in this course, we will cover some additional and interesting use case scenarios. We will implement logic for scanning barcode. Also, we will develop a smart selfie app using SAP App Kyver. Participants surely will love this session. Business Application Studio is the IDE which SAP is promoting. So, we cannot ignore SAP BAS even if we develop the apps using SAP App Kyver. In order to get comfortable, we will cover another interesting use case where we will develop a visitor registration app using BAS. AppGyver is one tool which SAP has been promoting extensively. You must have heard about AppGyver in TechEd last year and also in various newsletters. But there is another tool called SAP Mandix which can also be used for rapid app development. Next sessions in this course will primarily cover SAP Mandix. We will learn about the architecture capabilities, setup, and templates of SAP Mandix. We will create a Fiori master data app using SAP Mandix tool. We will also connect to SAP backend using SAP OData services and perform 
C R U D operations. This will be one practical topic in S A P Mandex learning. When we build apps, the heart and soul of the app is the complex business logic, which differs with every business requirements. In this session, we will learn how to implement the S A P business logic using S A P Mandex. We will also deploy the Mandex app. to sap business technology platform sap btp is surely the future before we conclude our training we will highlight the features differences advantages disadvantages between sap mandex and sap gaiva there are some other subtle topics which will cover in the last day and then we will wrap up the course with some interview preparation for rapid app development topics we know SAP is investing heavily in making its boring user interface more user friendly and appealing and rapid app development is one arsenal which SAP is trying to give to every web developer after all all web developers are the foot soldiers of SAP who have been supporting and promoting its robust SAP system for almost half a century so if you are struggling to build apps or even if you are a front end developer and wanted to learn the usage of this new tools you should consider joining this course trust us no one teaches such niche topics better than zapyard let us look into some important day time and other information the first day of the training is on may 7 2022 at 7:30 am ist this time is GMT plus five point five hours. So, if you are in Europe, Africa, or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live class. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. The payment of fee and enrollment process should be complete by twenty eighth of April two thousand twenty two. The link to enroll for this training. and pay the course fee is in the description section of this video each class will be around 2.5 to 3 hours and there will be 10 classes in total for some reasons if you are not able to join the live classes some days do not worry recordings of the class will be provided after every live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings we will do all hands on exercise with espohana 1809 as the back end server access will be provided till june 30th 2022 and it is included in the training fee participants do not need to pay extra for the server access there is no prerequisite for this course if you know normal abap programming then you may join this course if you still have any queries questions feel free to whatsapp us at +1 Two five one seven two seven nine two seven three, or email us at mailzapyard at the rate of gmail dot com or mail at the rate of zapyard dot com. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day.